One of the really neat out-of-the-box features I discovered in Final Cut Pro is that you can easily blur objects, whether that's faces, license plates, etc. And it's just as easy blurring something that's moving as it is blurring a still shot. I'm going to do a quick little video tutorial here that will show you just how easy it is to blur out an object in Final Cut Pro. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. I've got a sample clip that I downloaded. It is just a woman that ran into into the room and it is breathing heavy here. And what we want to do is we want to blur her face out. First thing we're going to do is go into our effects presets here. And under video, you've got your blur preset and this Gaussian preset. So we're just going to take this and drag it right over her face. And as you can see, when I do that and I drop it, it actually recognizes it's a face that we want to blur out and it's going to position itself as such. So once you've got that dropped, we'll come over here and we'll click the, the shape icon and what, or the, the shape button. What you can do is you can kind of drag this around and position it, go back to your tracker and just kind of find a, a, a central point here that you want to track and we can maybe blow that up a little bit. And then once you have it positioned the way you want, Click the Analyze button, and it is going to scan the clip and follow her movement. And you can see it's not necessarily lining up completely, but we can fix that here in a minute. And then what we can do here is why don't we just play it through and see what happens. So it's pretty close. Um, but what we want to do here is the area where it didn't quite recognize things. We're going to drag it back. And so once her head comes down, it's good. When it starts coming back up is when we lose it. So what we'll do here is let's just track this back up. And maybe track this back up here. And let's try, we'll analyze it again. And now it's tracking a little bit better here. So that took a few seconds to, to complete the analysis piece. And if we play through it again here, let's just see what happens here. And that's much better. Now what you can also do is play around a little bit with the amount of masking. Uh, if you want to bring that up, you can adjust it here, boost the blur a little bit so you can fine tune some of those blur settings. So that is a very simplistic way of blurring an object in Final Cut Pro. Hopefully you found it helpful. And we'll see you guys in the next video.